Welcome back to our tutorial series. Previously, we've introduced how to edit materials. Understanding the topography and getting input on the landscape design from partners help us make informed decisions. D5 comes in handy when reproducing realistic environment. D5 Render provides simple solutions to simulate terrains in the real world. When you need ocean or lake for your project, simply add a plane model from the library and adjust its size appropriately. We've prepared the water material both in our asset library and in the material adjustment panel. We prepares a straightforward approach in D5 for you to create mountains with ease, the terrain tool. The downward sculpt brush allows us to lower the ground level. We can use this tool to reveal the water surface. Moreover, the terrain library offers a bunch of height map templates. Simply choose the template we need and place it to the ground it instantly generates a restlessic terrain. We can tweak its height. These mountains can blend seamlessly with each other. For this project, we need the mountains to be partially covered by natural green ground. To achieve this visual effect, we can adjust three material sections. Firstly, adjust the peak material, which determines the texture on top of a mountain. Increase the peak altitude value to ensure that this texture will appear only in the area above this altitude. Next, tweak the slope material on steeper regions of the terrain. The erosion setting influences the range of the slope texture. We'll temporarily set the erosion value to zero to simplify the review process of the underlying ground material. For the ground material, we prefer it to look similar to the texture of the construction site. Fine tune its UV scale appropriately. Now increase the slope erosion for an organic appearance. D5 Render features over 4,000 high-quality plant models sourced from around the world, covering distinct species such as palms, broad leaves, and conifers. To help you create landscape with ease, we provide the following user-friendly tools. Just like we showed you in our first episode, the D5 LiveSync plugin makes it super easy to export placeholder models and swap them with your desired plants in just one click. This approach allows you to conveniently check the highlight plants in a landscape design while keeping your model file neat and light. Plus, the detailed D5 plant models help you see how they affect lighting and shadows, and how they interact with the structures. D5 provides a procedural scattering tool ideal for landscapes with complex vegetation patterns. It's particularly useful when you're looking to cultivate multiple types of plants in one area. For our project, we're aiming to mix various plant species in the central round garden. 
First off, hover over the Add Scatter button. You can create a scatter area by selecting the material of the central ground. If your landscape design requires following specific patterns for plant distribution, you can create a color-coded map where each color represents a different segment, and then import this map into D5. However, since we want the plants to be scattered randomly across the garden, it's not necessary to divide the scatter surface here. We can adjust the scaling, density, and collision volume for every kind of plant scattered in this zone. To facilitate the use of presets across various projects and among team members, you can save the scatter settings to D5 Studio either in your personal space or in the shared team space. In addition to manual configurations, we have prepared dozens of scatter presets in our library for your convenience. Simply select a preset and apply it to the scatter surface. It will automatically adjust to fit perfectly. To quickly master D5 scatter, watch this video for a detailed walkthrough of all its features. We also provide intuitive asset placement tools such as Brush and Path. To start, activate the brush tool and choose your preferred plants. You can then adjust the brush radius, density, and the size and randomness of the plants. Simply paint over the area where you want the plants to appear. The path tool comes in super handy when you need to line up plants in a row.
we've successfully crafted the natural environment for our project. Coming up next, we'll dive into how to bring our scene to life with realistic lighting and weather effects. Thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned.